Now then guys, have you ever wondered how dogs can enjoy what to us just smells like worse than our toilet? Because trust me, what I've just fed our dogs, I mean it's, it, you know, I mean, it's Tesco's own, but, and it's like one of the sort of premium ones that's made for small dogs. And they love it, yeah. You open it and it smells like shit. Yeah, I know that I've got four clean bowls in there because they love it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so I've got our tea going on actually. It's. Uh, there you go, we're playing. It's. Um, actually, it's a little worrying because their tea had lime in it. Somebody's just walked in the front door. And we're having lamb. <laughs> With a few veg. So, quite a healthy tea tonight actually. New potatoes. Uh, some beans. And carrot. And the lamb. With some mint sauce of course. So, uh, I'm going to find out who this is. And I'll get back to you in a bit. interrupted by the <laughs> daughter-in-law coming back because we've had the grandson just for a couple of hours the new grandson that is uh, quiet as a mouse he is very easy going um, yeah so I've got this lamb in it's, they're actually um, little rolls of uh, lamb breast with uh, stuffing in so I haven't had lamb for a while actually, a long while. Um, the wife can't stand the smell of it cooking. She can usually eat it as long as she hasn't smelt it cooking. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, she's through in the other end of the house, so hopefully she uh, she won't be able to smell it. But uh, yeah, last time I ate lamb actually, it was a bit, a bit too sweet and sickly for me. But um, yeah, let's we'll see how it goes. So yeah. It's been in about half an hour, so I'm going to take it out again and have another look in a bit, and uh, turn it over, turn them over if they need it, and see how we go. So yeah, I've just uh, oh, I've just put a post up actually on my uh, on my website blog uh, about the. Some of you have probably already seen it actually about the uh, the bubble picks, and I've actually got the case actually on the camera now. Um, and yeah, I've had it for about a year now, I've already had the Gadget Show, um, you know, on one of the special daily offers, like so. But, um, <coughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a bit of fun, really, you know, because you share out the website link, you know, because you've got to have an account and all that, if you want to share them out, so you put it on the website link, and they're just <laughs> such grainy images. Um, you know, sometimes you'll get a really good one. Um, I just don't really get to grips with it, but I've just been playing with it again today because, of course, there's been some updates and stuff like that, and some better integration to the uh, the camera on the iOS devices now. But I mean, you can buy cases. You can, I think, you can even get a case for the iPad, so you can do it on the iPad as well. But um, yeah, you get you just you know you buy it with the case that you've got, and then if you've got other devices, then you can buy more cases on their own and then you just have the one scope that clamps onto the back of it so it's quite clever in that way it's just the sharing out of it that's all very cumbersome and you know unless you've got the app on your phone to actually look at them um, then you need to look on a on a um, on a machine based website so you have to use either your laptop Mac um, desktop whatever like um, but yeah, check it out anyway, have a look. Uh, I have tweeted it out, but uh, you can always go to boblovestech.co.uk and you'll find it there. I'll pop the link underneath anyway. So, um, yeah, I didn't uh, do any YouTube watching last night, which I should have done really, but uh, 
I don't know, I'm just sort of doing a bit of TV catch up with the wife and that, so we watch all sorts of stuff. Uh, what, I've been watching that uh, Blacklist, that's quite good. Uh, what else? Oh, the following, that's, that's good. Uh, we're on the second series now, of course, like, um, it got a bit slow to start with, but it's, it's picking up again. Um, what else? Oh, I don't know if any of you ever watched it, the originals, that's, that's a different take on vampires, witches, all that sort of stuff, so, yeah, we've just been playing catch up, I know, I've still got a few episodes of the originals to watch, but, uh, I'll probably watch a bit of YouTube later and catch up some of the stuff from yesterday, because I always like to go and, uh, watch all my subs, comment on people's videos, stuff like that, you know, it's not something that I, uh, I miss, so I didn't try to get them watched. So, uh, yeah. So uh, I'll get back to you in a bit anyway, guys. Didn't get a chance to finish off last night, uh, people. Um, just, you know, just general sort of life stuff getting in the way. So uh, I just thought I'd say a few words tonight, which is Monday night. Um, she went down well yesterday. Uh, the lamb was nice. Um, tonight I've come home. Uh, my mother came round to have tea. She'd been with my dad all day at the hospital. Um, some slow improvement there uh, with his physio and what have you. Um, so my mum came round for tea, and then uh, I've not long since got back from taking her home actually. Um, and that's pretty much it. So tomorrow afternoon onwards I'm probably going to be a bit offline because uh, I'm not going to work tomorrow until about two o'clock uh, and then from there well from there I'll be loading up a van that's my dishwasher just finished uh, loading up a van and driving to Norfolk to do a job there how long that'll take I don't know and then there's the drive home of course as well so your guess is as good as mine. If it's an hour of work, we'll be back by midnight. If it's longer than that, then God knows. So, yeah. Oh my God, there's smoke everywhere outside. Not only is it foggy, it's now smoky as well. The neighbors are having a bonfire. So, anyway, I'm gonna cut it off there, guys. Uh, my internet's going a bit crappy at the minute and I'm trying to sort all sorts out on Mac actually. Um, iTunes has hit a real bad go slow for me tonight. I don't know if anybody else is having that problem. And I just tweeted out a picture actually that um, I don't know how many of you got it that uh, Cartoon HD Pro uh, before it got removed from the App Store. I just uh, opened it tonight. My brother told me something. He says, uh, he says just open it and see what you think. And when you open it, it says uh, that this this version isn't supported anymore. You need to download the new version now. Obviously, it's not. Uh, it's not a legitimate app anymore. So obviously, it's trying to install like a, a web app sort of system on your uh, on your iPad or whatever you've got it on. And uh, yeah, it's some sort of uh, strange website address that it tries to take you to to download the new version. I haven't done it. So uh, yeah, if anybody knows anything about it and can tell me, you know what's going on with it, I'd much appreciate that. So yeah, if you know anything about it, leave it in the comments underneath. Uh, you know, I don't want to go damaging any of my equipment through a dodgy download. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there anyway guys. So uh, I'll catch you all another time. See ya.